Hello there, I am Giant Grodd with my Pokemon Yellow. In the last part, we took on uh, Articuno and Caught on our first take, actually. It wasn't too hard. It kept on, we kept on missing the Pokemon, apparently, with the Ultra Balls. But eventually, we did get a Ultra Ball to uh, actually uh, capture it, and or get in the Pokeball, and that Pokeball caught it. It was Ultra Ball, actually, yeah. But yeah, that ball caught it. And, uh, yeah, it, we paralyzed it and put it down to red health, so that's made it easier to catch. So here's a c protein or carbos? Yeah, carbos. Let's just give that to random Pokemon. Let's give that Grumpy. Yeah, okay, let's do, let's do it. Grumpy Speed Rose. Cool. Nice. That could have been good for, uh, uh, Brew Root, but I keep on thinking to look up these names so I can try to memorize what vitamin does what, or is what, so I would know. But that's okay. You live and you learn. So we should put a repel on though, because there's a lot of Pokemon in here. I think there's like Magnemite and uh possibly Pikachu. No, 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 not in Red and Blue there's probably Pikachu. Um I know finally feeling there's Pikachu in Repel Point. And yeah. So uh let's choose a repel. Yeah, let's just use one, okay. Cool. This place isn't too hard to get through, so yeah. Um, although the I shouldn't have Pikachu front, I should probably have Lavender front because uh, Lavender has ground uh, Earthquake, which is a ground type move, and super effective on what you get Pokemon. So some of these like Voltorb is Electrodes, I think. But bzz, okay, yeah, there's a Pokemon right here. I'll show these actually just f to prove I'm not like hacking the game or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, here's a Voltorb with level 40. Nice. Let's go for the Earthquake on this thing. Not double kick. I meant to use Earthquake. My bad. Shoot. <laughs> oh well. Let's get self-destruct on us. Jeez. If I just used Earthquake and pay attention to what move I was using, maybe Lavender wouldn't have a little chunk of health missing. Ay ay ay. I'll, I'll learn from next. Uh, you'll live in your learn again. A perfect example of that. Okay, so this will be an item though. Nope, of course it's not. It's a Voltorb Electrode. Uh, it's probably a Voltorb if I were to guess. Yeah, it's a Voltorb. Okay. Yeah, so this Voltorb is level 40. Nice. Let's uh, actually use the correct move and use Earthquake this time. That's gonna be super effective, so that's good. It hits, let's see how much it does though. And it, when it kills it, awesome. Nice. Here's an item, I bet this is an item. Of course it is, and I'm, I'm 0 for 3. Well, technically 0 for 2, but I'm gonna say 0 for 3, geez. Okay, fine. It's another Voltorb that's gonna probably die from another Earthquake. That kinda sounds very, very dark. Oh, you're gonna die from another Earthquake. But Pokemon don't die, they faint. But then again, some Pokemon die, sadly. This Voltorb is level 40, just like the previous two. No, I was surprised there. I was expecting to find a Electrode by now, but I guess it's only Voltorbs. Oh, this one could possibly surprise me. I think you get the Thunder TM in here. I must start him back there, dang it. I have to go back. Yeah, this is TM25 Thunder, I believe. So yeah, I'm pretty sure, that, I'm like 90% sure this is Thunder for the TM for Thunder. Can it's Thunder, nice. Okay, touch Thunder Pokemon. Uh, I don't have any of my final moves, that's, uh, except for, uh, except for, uh, Storm. So I'll skip out. Hopefully this is another item. Of course, it's not. It's a Voltorb. It's a Voltorb. I think after this, I'll cut the Voltorb attacks, er, Encounters, I guess. I don't know. So let's use Earthquake on this thing. Because, you know, I'm just going to go to Earthquake. Use Earthquake on it, basically, to faint it. That's what I plan to do. That's what I'm going to do, too. It goes to Volto, I want to kill. Yay, it's super effective. Yay. Okay, cool. Let's backtrack to where that item was, because I missed it. Oh, we have to go all the way back here though. That's okay though. It's fine. It's worth it. One of these is probably a Voltorb. One of these is an item. TM33. What is that? Actually, get out of curiosity. What is it? Okay, Kings of Fucked. Okay, I don't. I don't want to teach you my Pokemon of Fucked. Okay, here's a Voltorb. Bow. Cut this one out. Or edit this out. Okay, let's continue on. I like the music at least, you know. We can't ride our bicycle in here, but that's okay. Do 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 do. My pulse effect was off. I was ex I was afraid of that. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's put another pal on then. Let's 
This is probably an item coming up, hopefully. Unless it's a Voltorb. Okay, rare candy, nice. I think we have seven rare candies now. Let me just check. I think we have seven now. Um, we have eight actually. Cool. Oh, an HP up, nice. I was expecting that to be a Voltorb. So let's use the HP up. Nope, but I mean, did the TM. I mean, just like the HP up. Okay, let's see here. Um, let's give it to Grumpy, I guess. Grumpy's health rails, cool. So Grumpy has 136 HP right now, right? Cool. It's 135, that's awesome. Did I miss a couple items right there? Because I may have looked like I did. Jeez, I'm bad at this. Bzz, okay, this is another Voltorb. Oh, and it's Electrode. Okay, cool. Nice. Too bad I'm gonna use Earthquake on this thing. Let's get Swift on us, okay. I'm not gonna get the items I probably missed though. I mean, they're probably not important. If not, unless I'm missing on some good item or something, you know? Yeah. What's that item? Because we're really close to Zapdos, actually. Zapdos is at the end of the PowerPoint, by the way. If you didn't already guess. And by the way, it's right here. <laughs> so, uh, let's, uh. Let's put Storm up front, I guess, because we're going to paralyze it with Thunder Wave, hopefully. I'm going to do a safe state right here, so I'll be right back. Okay, let's uh, take on the Zapdos. Yeah. Gaiu! <laughs> Zapdos, nice. Zapdos has a cool sprite. <laughs> Zapdos is level 50, awesome. Cool, let's uh, use uh, Thunder Wave on this thing. It hits, awesome. Let's get a Thunder Shock on this, okay. Maybe Pikachu is the easiest um, Pokemon we have after this battle. Let's go for the Thunderbolt. Let's hopefully it doesn't faint it though. This is take one by the way. Super effective, awesome. Let's get a Thunder Shock on us. Maybe we want to try a Thunder on it, you know, put up, try to put up some heat. There we go, Thunder hit, awesome. Nice. Drill pack, okay. So, so far you have Thunder Shock and Drill pack. That might be the only Pokemon moves you know. Okay, I'm gonna switch out actually. Let's switch to Lavender, because Lavender can resist Thunder Shock at least. And what not, well, Jewel Pack might do some damage, but still. Dang it, I walked right into that actually, because uh, that happened. Okay. Let's go for the Horn Attack. Oh, Critical Hit, nice. Okay, in, in the red zone, nice. Thunder Shock, it doesn't affect the Lavender. Cool. Let's use a uh, Hyper Potion on Lavender. Thunder Shock, it doesn't affect Lavender. Good, because Lavender is half ground type. Let's go for an item. Let's use an Ultra Ball on this thing. Don't use a Master Ball. Okay, use an Ultra Ball. Oh, for, wow. One try. One Ultra Ball, and it caught it. Awesome, I'll take it. Alright, Zapdos was caught. Nice. Oh, that's pretty lucky right there. New Pokemon, new Pokedex data will be added for Zapdos. Because okay, so Zapdos is a electric Pokemon. Uh, it's... 5 foot 3 inches tall, weighs 116 pounds, it's number, it's number 145 in the Pokedex. This legendary bird Pokemon is set to appear when the sky turns dark and lightning showers, and lightning showers down. Cool. Let's give it to Zepidos. Okay, yeah. Let's name this, let's name this Zepidos Shocker. <laughs> Shocker, I like that. Shocker. Okay, cool. Shocker was transferred to the Bill's PC. Nice. So actually a way we can get out without having to go all the way back is right here, right? Nice. And then we magically pop at the um, front of the door, front of the building, power plant, as you can say. Because in Fire and Leaf Green, there's a side entry that you just hop over a ledge and then you get back here. That's basically what it leads to for in Fire and Leaf Green. So let's uh go to... Where do I want to go next, actually? I want to fly south of... I want to surf south of Pallet Town because... Uh, because, um, that's where the Simba Island is. But let's go to Viridian City, I guess, just to heal up and show our Pokemon. So I'll show it off real quick. Nice. Okay, so yeah, let's, let's, let's heal up our Pokemon first.
cool okay after that um let's uh show for let's actually use let's actually restore put some of these items we found in the powerpoint away in our pc before we forget actually <laughs> so team 30 for 25 and then team 33 i think i said after that yeah let me just make sure there we go nice now let's go to bill's pc uh let's go deposit a gamma again and then we'll draw shocker uh stats okay so shocker still not fully old <laughs> oh well thanks for the okay yeah shocker is a trick flying type a trick and flying type um and uh it's number 245 it's 145 in the pokedex number 145 in the pokedex like i said and its attack is 104 its defense is 95 its speed is 120 its special is 139 that's pretty cool it only knows slender shark and jewel pack interesting so yeah, let's actually get withdrawal gamma though, because we need gamma to say fun and stuff and uh, be our trusty little blast boys. Cool. Gamma take out got gamma. Cool. Nice. Yeah. Oh, power effect off right there. Okay, cool. I'm gonna walk all the way back to Pal Town. I'm not gonna even fly there because I don't want to be lazy, but I'll I will hop over the edges, so I'm kind of still being lazy. <laughs> yeah. Nice, okay. There we go. Dang, I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do wild in, I don't wanna render wild Pokemon right here, especially this patch of grass. Luckily we did an awesome. Let's talk to our mom, we haven't seen her in a long time. Yeah. Uh, mom, uh, Steven, if you drive your Pokemon too hard, they'll dislike you. You should take a rest. Yeah. Oh good, you and your Pokemon are looking great. Take care now, thanks. The CRT is still on the ground. <laughs> My old room. Yeah. We're playing the SNES. Haha. <laughs> okay, it's time to go. Fine, it's okay to go. I wish I could sleep on my bed, but I can't just can only can only walk into it really like that, you know? I can't sweep into it. I can't get on it. And then my PC is right here. I think it's just my PC though. Oh, is it Bill's PC too? Nope, it's just my PC, okay. So I can withdraw an item if we want. That's a lot of items in the PC. <laughs> That's a lot of items I just went through. I just scrolled through them really fast. <laughs> okay, we have to go now apparently. But yeah, it was good to come back home and talk to Ma or Mom and stuff. And yeah. What's going on in the lab? Professor Oak, okay. Uh, good to see you. How's your Pokedex coming? Here, let me take a look. Uh, Pokedex completion is 20, 121 Pokemon. 112 Pokemon seen, and dang it, I forgot to get many caught. Uh, for rating, you still need more Pokemon. Try to catch other species. Okay. Never, haha, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, I'm kind of not kidding, actually. I don't want to, I'm not gonna catch them all, guys, in this project. I'm sorry. Jeez. Even though it's probably, the, the easiest gen one game to probably get all the Pokemon is Pokemon Yellow, because you get all the starters, to be honest. You can evolve all three of them. But that's just me, and you don't have to get them through, tra without, through trading or anything. But there is other stuff like, uh, you know, you have to get, um, get to find a far-fetched in, um, in the, in the wild. And in red and blue, you can just trade for one for that girl in, uh, Vimoyan City for, like, a spear or something, you know? So let's go to Gamma, I guess. Let's use Surf. Nice, awesome. Okay, I'm gonna use a Repel, though. Nice, okay. The Toba Pills, I could go with Toba Pills after this. In this tall grass, you can find a Tangjo, which is a pure grass type Pokemon. It's pretty cool. Um, is there any trainers here? Yeah, there is. Okay, cool. So, uh, hmm. Do I want to end the part right here? I think I want to end the part right here. So, yes, yeah, so it's been in my Pokemon Yellow walkthrough part. Right next part, we'll take on this route and hopefully make it to Cinnabar Island, where a 7th gym badge awaits us uh, at the Cinnabar Island gym. So, yes, yeah, so this has been Dragon Go again. I would like to mention King Goodbye, and I'll see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Yellow walkthrough guide.